Fresh Yankee was quite the lady. Let's find out a little more about her. She was a $900 yearling purchase that went on to make $1 million. In fact, she became the first North American bred trotter to reach that earnings milestone. In 191 starts, she had 89 wins, 44 seconds, and 24 thirds. She held several world records. Her ultimate mark was a 157 and one time trial in 1967 when she became the fastest trotting mare in history. Fresh Yankee was not only the Harness Horse of the Year in 1970, but the Trotting Mare of the Year four times from 1969 to 1972. The Standard Bread Star's greatness was defined by her performances in the Roosevelt International Trot, which brought together the best trotters in the world. She also won races overseas, including the Elite Lop in Sweden. Her career came to an end in 1972. Fresh Yankee retired as the second richest money-winning trotter in the world and died in 1991 at the age of 28. Now let's check out a blast from the past. It's the Roosevelt International Trot. And the New York Times described this race, and I quote, there are many harness racing stakes that are older and quite a few that are richer, but there is none that for glory, pageantry, excitement, and wild wagering matches the Roosevelt International Trot. It's a mile and a quarter event. Now we'll check out the post parade first and then the 1970 edition of the stake. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, here is the field for the 12th annual Roosevelt International Trot for a purse of $125,000. The 1970 version has attracted trotters from around the world, starting with France. Here is number one, the seven-year-old French champion Tadeli Impello with driver Jean Mary. Number two is the Canadian rags to riches story Fresh Yankee with Joe O'Brien. Fresh Yankee, a seven-year-old by Hickory Pride, second, third, and third in her three previous appearances, purchased for $900 by Duncan McDonald of Sydney, Nova Scotia. She's got over a half million dollars on her card. Number three is the six-year-old defending champion from France, the great French mayor Un Demai with Jean-René Gorgon, who's won the last two Roosevelt Internationals with Roca Pine and, of course, Un Demai. Representing the country of Italy tonight, number four, Barbablu with Giancarlo Baldi. Number five, the Swedish representative from Sweden, Lion, the favorite here tonight, who won his country's triple crown, the driver Olli Elfstrand. One of two representatives for the United States. Number six, Diane with William Meyer. Number seven is the nine-year-old New Zealand champion, Stylish Major, a winner of 23 of 80 lifetime starts, the driver, Billy Hudson. And drawing the outside post eight, representing the United States, Nakalula with Saunders Russell. The gate swings, swings into, into the, the back, back stretch for the 1970 12th annual Roosevelt, Roosevelt International, International Trot for $125,000. Trotters from around the world are set to go. go. And, and they're, they're up in trotting. Tadeli and Pello from, from the inside with John Mary takes, takes the early lead. lead. Un Demai to challenge on the outside. The two French trotters lock up early. French Yankee is trotting third with Barbablu from Italy getting away fourth. Lion is fifth from Sweden. USA representative Diane is sixth, followed by the New Zealand rep, Stylish Major, and then it's Nakalulu from the USA at the back of the pack. And they come by us for the first time towards the opening quarter. And the, and French, the French trotters, trotters go, go at it here. Tadeli and Pello has, has rail control. control. Undemai is parked on the outside. We'll try to go the overland route, route with French Yankee third. third. And, and the, the opening, opening quarter was 31 and four. four. Around, Around the turn, Tadeli and Pello, the French champion and the great mare defending champion in this event, Undemai is parked on the outside in those two matching strides. Fresh Yankee watching the dueling leaders with Joe O'Brien representing Canada is third at this point. 
As they so race, race down, down the back, back stretch, stretch. that's, that's Barbablu Bar from, from Italy, Italy is, is now off the uh, rail and, and is, is in fourth position as they race past the uh, half in 104 and 1. A relatively slow pace here. here. The French, French trotters looking to steal it as a team. Tadeli and Pello on the inside, Undemai on the outside. Barbablu is fourth on the outside. Towards the rail is a fresh Yankee saving ground. Then, then comes, comes Lion, Lion towards, towards the inside, inside followed by Stylish Major, Major and Nakalula. And they, and they bring them by the grandstand, grandstand for the second, second time towards the three-quarter three mark. mark. Tadeli and Pello on the inside, Undamai will try to do it all the way, parked, parked on the outside. But here comes Akimu from Joel O'Brien, who's able to slip off the rail in front of Barbablu and get covered now behind the great French mare Undamai. Three-quarters, 135. They continue, they continue around, around the turn, turn. And, the and the two French, French trotters, trotters again, matching strides here. Tadeli and Pello on the inside, Undemai on the outside. And now, and now Fresh Yankee with Joel Bryan in good stocking position, position, third on the outside. Barbablu gaining, gaining ground steadily. steadily. That's, That's Lion saving, saving ground towards the rail. The rail. And, and now with, with the USA, USA, the representative with William Meyer, Diane makes a three-wide brush past the mile marker in 2.05. And, and off stride goes Barbablu from Italy, Italy and, and three wide, here comes Fresh Yankee, Yankee full of trot for Joe O'Brien to pounce on the dueling French trotters as they turn for home in the Roosevelt International Trot. Fresh Yankee on the outside, gets the lead. Tadeli and Pello digging in, Undemai. Stylish Major driving through on the inside for New Zealand to get the third spot, but the rags to riches story continues for Canada's Fresh Yankee as she wins the 1970 Roosevelt International Trot in 235-1.